knowing that we still have the chance of winning after not doing good so far is like really motivating. We had a team talk yesterday about like it's actually still possible, guys. Like even though it sucks not having more than eight chances, like we all know and we all like we all believe in ourselves enough to act like we, we can still win this thing, guys. Like we just need to qualify, and I think we need a good first game. If we get a good first game, I'm like I'm certain we're gonna win. Like honestly, like it's just like in the in the bottom of my stomach, you have that feeling. Like that instinct. If you get that, if you qualify and you get that good first game, then this, this shit is ours, man. Like I can feel it. It's uh, not about longevity. It's not about consistency. It's about that week six finals. And so our whole journey to this point and to week six is just things that have gotten us better, gotten us more prepared. And if we can show up in week six and play like we know we can and put two good days together. Uh, and we walk away in first, then we actually win the whole event. So it's all or nothing. We didn't qualify for week five finals, so we had to play the bottom 16 the first time. We ended up only getting eight chances in the week six qualifiers. So, I mean, we knew we could do it with eight games too, but it's, of course it was like kind of shitty feeling that you only have eight chances. You want them signed on the front? Don't you think we need to sign the back? So it's like, it's the last week, it's the most important week, eight chances. We've seen some other teams do it as well, they had less chances and they also qualified. So, it's possible and that's just how it is. We started off this round week by playing Wednesday after the third game, came in on the fourth game. On Wednesday we had three games and game by game uh, we thought we were going to come in and you know, get the first win, that was the goal. It's just Get it done, get it out of the way as soon as possible. Uh, first game went by. Well, nothing to do, nothing to say. Zenith qualify to the grand finals. It wasn't us. Second game. They're yeah, taken down the end, shoot to kill. Playing their spot in the finals. Still wasn't us, and third game we didn't manage to win either. My word answers and instantly responds! Oh! All four North American teams have now qualified for the World Championship Grand Finals. Sitting there and watching all these other teams qualify for what we wanted, what we worked for, uh, it's hard. It's not a position that you want to be in and the pressure kept getting you know more and more and it kept becoming are we gonna are we gonna find our way into this or are we gonna have like another heartbreak now lg divine i wonder how well they're equipped at this point i'm unsure but the spray comes out detonation gaming looking a little under pressure here oh, oh no speaking two of pressure them down. oh no Liquid's gone, but they've done so much damage to ends. But Thursday, we actually like we started off decently, got in some in-game situations. Not going for the second day. Uh, uh, we got to the melee game. It was I think our first really good chance of qualifying. That's devastating. He was holding them back, and one nade just solidifies 13 or 12 plays. Not much better either. Liquid full send. LG Divine gone, Liquid's in. Ends are going for the send if they got nades in their hands. Oh, they're going for the full send. This is a full-blown blind send. That is one of the most precarious sends I have ever seen, and it's dealt with. Gene just brushes them to the side. Uh, we had a really great call to play something that's not usually played when the last circle showed to rotate to the far side of the circle where we know, knew no one was. There was only one piece of cover. It was a rock. We knew that all the other teams were going to be fighting on the edge. 
So at that moment, I really felt like this was the game, we were gonna get it done. Uh, and unfortunately, Oh. Yeah, I hope you're happy. Just here we go. Oh, look here. What's happening? Look at this. Look at it. There you go. Look at what you have done to poor Liquid. They tried to hit a rotation and, and the Richard curse has struck. It would be a 2v3 at best for Na'Vi. I don't know the other positioning coming in for Tab, so Vinay goes a little deep. Smash finds Ivy, so that's one EU team out. I hope you're happy, Rich. And now we ended up in fourth right before all the action happened. We uh, lost, and so that one was really heartbreaking, and it's hard to come back from that. And but there's nothing else to do but to come back from it. So after losing it, of course, it kind of sucks. Cause like last week we had a clo really close game when we end up uh, against D1 and we lose that uh, 3v3 and we end up not qualified for the week. So of course you get that feeling in the moment that what if that is the game that you're not gonna qualify because of that. So after that game, we had the Myanmar game and we died early that game to DA cause we made a mistake. So that was like, okay. Guys, we have two more chances. Liquid trying to disengage away from Ents as well. Ents just trying to live on those outskirts, work their way in as best they can up towards the very polar north. There are no full teams left anymore. Three up max. Phase, Liquid, Ents, and Na'Vi. It was a wrangle, and we played it pretty well again. I liked our positions. At one point, Ents tried to push us as well. Uh, we managed to hold them back. Got clipped back up, so we we're in the end game. Ends move forward, phase giving up the game. They've heard the shots to the left hand side. Digger, it takes you four simultaneously. Senya also. Navi, first one to fall. Big Nate comes in. Uber, time to step Ends up to gone. the plate. Where's the rest of them? So we've lost two just like that. It comes down to one player of E36 phase clan. Team Liquid melting away. The mollies are down. How many players are left standing? 2v2. That's all that remains for both these teams. FaZe can get a res, get three back up, but I don't know if they're going to get the time for it. AT going to be tasked with keeping them at bay. Ivy on the wrap as well. Clip trying to get the heal off. Ivy now in towards the blue. Buddy, you got to get moving. Uber's going to catch you. Uber's got a great spray towards Ivy with one H shot. Easy shot comes Mighty. out in the end. And the positioning from IT was perfect. FaZe finally yeah. do it. And it's a sign of relief. Yeah. This isn't yeah. just excitement and all of this, it's we've made it to the weekend. That's what they need. That was the second to last game. Again, it felt like it was ours. And again, we just didn't get it. We just didn't finish the game. We didn't win. And so we went into that last game knowing it's now or never. You have 16 incredibly capable teams in this lobby. Some who've had repeat almost success, almost across the finish line. But again, second place ain't good enough. And now Liquid trying to corner in DA. Oh my word, Smash and Mertz are alive. Ivy and Mexi on the wide swing now. You gotta be careful. There we go, Peekaboo. I see you. Goodbye, Mertz. And now the conversion on towards the flash to the back. Push for Smash, but to be met by sheer force. And now Marco, your last man alive for DA. But K7 are on the hillside, just behind. And Liquid out of nowhere. 12 kills, three still stand. Boy, they stay alive for another second. But the Blues on the back and Liquid are on the move. What? Liquid out of nowhere. Break the pain. Saxon goes down. Liquid's just killing everyone oh on the God. battlefield. What on earth is happening? TSM now back to the blue. One smoke in front of them. Once they leave, it's either going to be Ibi or maybe Savior to see them. It depends who sees who first. A flashbang will hinder them even further. They can't make that run anymore. Miracle and Bard. Options have been just ripped away. The spray comes in. Ibi comes alive. Seven kills. Now going to be eight if he gets that flush. Clip by his side. They lock it down. And now a 3v1. What did you see? I don't know. I'm blessed. Play together. He's still in the rip. Don't call on him, B. He's not in I'm there. Not. I'm holding again. I'm, yeah, I know. He's still in there. Over, I'm holding over. it. Except green. <laughs> we did not see Team Liquid in our previous World Championship Grand Finals. But in the final match, in the final hour, they pull it out of the bag. You can see what it means to the players, the joys, the celebrations. <laughs> Congrats. 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 Congrats.
Thank you. Thank you. That's literally the most important moment in my, in my life so far. Qualifying for that. No cap. Honestly, that game is like the highlight of my career so far. Like, holy, it felt, it felt so sick. Like, having that one chance of actually doing it on that kind of game. I think that's honestly like one of the best games we've ever played, like, skill wise. Like, we, I just felt like we rolled everyone. Overall, it was like one of the best games we played. So, like, uh, I think everyone's just feeling good, confident, and we end up clutching out the last game. So, it felt really good. I never really felt these emotions before, I think, in esports or like in my previous games. And it was just, it was amazing. It was honestly the best feeling ever. So watching the ending of the last uh, of the last game, and hearing in the comms, the guys finally uh, put together everything that we'd been working on, and put it into action. In the the biggest moment, the highest pressure moment, it was hard not to be emotional. Uh, I was just really proud that they did what we knew we could do um, when it mattered the most. What was sort of like the team vibe going into the final then? Yeah, the team vibe was good going into the finals. Um, I, it sucks that there was a day off. I wish there wasn't a day off because I really felt like we were, had a lot of momentum and um, were on top of the world after winning that last game in the way that we did. Just checking that it's... Welcome oh, what the fuck to the top. Sorry, Tim. Do you have a wrong camera? We had some, like, some, some step backs on day one. I feel like all our games on, on day one were basically like saves. Like we could have done really, really good with the way we played, but like we kept losing people early. And we kept like having to, to save the games by doing solo plays. Like Flip could be the X Factor inside of this position. Multi-circle gaming, lean right up into it, but look, Roth is in their face. Shinboy are trying to get the Roth, but no, it's not going to pay off. Now it's turning a little bit more problematic for Zeta. They're having to control too many different firing lines against them. Ludic, spun it out, knows where one is, gets a down one to it, but no, Zenith is eliminated. And now it's going to be Team Liquid's Clip, the last one up, crawling his way into this. Can he turn this around for Team Liquid? Somehow, looking through spots on and yes, he does! Clip takes this one, miraculously surviving through the death trap that was Yasnaya! Clip had a nice clutch by himself in the Yasnaya game. Super, uh, super happy for him, of course. I was super happy too, because like it's always nice to see your teammates clutch out, and it was just it was good. Um, and then we went into day two. Well, I think everyone was still feeling good. At least that's how it felt. But like it just didn't work on the second day again. I don't know really what happened, and it's just like the whole curse of the tournament that we can just have two days and days in a row. We didn't really manage to keep four alive. We had some early deaths, some personal mistakes again um, by everyone. And I don't know, we couldn't really play our game. So I don't know, it was pretty rough. And that kind of summed up the tournament for us. It's hard to attribute to what it, to pinpoint the exact reason um, why we can't have two good days in a row. The fact of the matter is we didn't put two good days together and when you only have 10 games, you have to. Like everyone is like, we win or lose as a team. So like, that is like really something that we can be proud of as a team that we did really good mentally. Even though like we didn't actually do anything, it's still a major like experience in my life. It just makes me hungry for more. Next like win next one.
I feel bad about it because also because you see the other teams what they won and you know but hey that's how it is I've been in this, the game for three years um, I'm gonna reset I know our potential as a team and we've got work to do